Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with designer Hassan Lopez and Cassandra Whitaker from Eagle Griffin Games looking at Infamous for their prototype of Infamous, not final version yet. Um, but we can learn about the game. Absolutely. Yeah. No, thanks for having we me. We are on. evil masterminds, is that the idea? That is correct. You are a comic book super villain bumbling your way to infamy in the world. Okay. Hopefully not bumbling too much. That's right. Bumble less yeah. than the other ones. <laughs> yes. Okay. And yeah, what you're looking at I would say is 99% complete. We we have all the art, all the graphic design ready. We're going to launch Kickstarter in August and we'll be ready to fly. Okay. So, what's the setup here? We've got a world map. Uh, we have some people on the side of these art these us. That is correct. I'm yeah. One of these people. Yeah. So there are five different super villains you can play. In the, Let's move them in the, the center. Game. We can zoom down just to give an idea here. Yeah, you bet. So Doctor Hominoid has been a, a fan favorite since the beginning of prototyping. Um, I'll, I'll say this now while I have, while I remember the, the artist of our game is this really excellent comic book artist Rob Guillory, who does work for Chew among other things, and he's done unique illustrations for every card in the game. So. I really hope that this game appeals to fans of comics. Um, it really plays on a lot of the tropes in comic books, and it's got a tongue-in-cheek sense of humor throughout it. Not just in theme, but also in art. Okay. But yeah, you'll take on the role of a, of a comic book supervillain, and your first real goal in the game is to build a secret base. And okay. you're going to build that secret base out of this big, thick stack of over 70 different rooms that you can add mm -hmm. to your base. So are we getting a sampling of rooms? Sure. And then, yeah. is, and then is that how we're actually building them? Um, this, it would be a draft. So um, the first phase of every round, you're going to get five of these cards in your hand. You're going to pick one to either build or sell. Okay. And you're going to pass the rest to your partners. Okay. Um, so we have things like garbage processing facilities and robotics labs, demonic chapels. And in addition to just being awesome, uh, in addition, you are building rooms that attract particular types of henchmen. Okay. So there are four different types of henchmen in the game, beasts, criminals, scientists, and mystics, and that's what these little tabs and numbers represent. So okay. if you build a robotics lab, for example, scientists just, they want to come work for you. Okay. So, that's right. Yeah. You have a good retirement plan. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So um, your first goal is to build a base that is is attractive to particular types of henchmen, get a good solid team of henchmen on your side, and then you can send them out to fulfill these contracts that are spread out throughout the world. Okay. Contracts are how you're going to earn infamy, which are the victory points in this game. Okay, and what do we do with the contracts once we are all set up with our base? And our sure, and so you're going to be looking at the board and being like, okay, well there's easy contracts out here, there's hard ones, and there's legendaries. And you're going to kind of build up to legendary contracts over the course of the game. You're not going to be ready for those right away. But if we pick this one, for example, if you sent out your thugs to do this contract, um, this is to transmogrify puppies into gold bars. Okay, so that's your mission. You're going to send your henchmen out to do that. Each of your henchmen has a certain trait associated with them. Brawn, stealth, intellect. Those match up with the, the custom dice that we have in the game. Okay. You're going to collect dice equivalent to the strength of your henchmen, roll those dice, and you're trying to match that target value with the amount of successes that you roll. Okay. So it is ultimately, you're going to do, be rolling big fistfuls of dice. There are many ways to mitigate the randomness and luck of that die roll. For example, a lot of the rooms that you build in your secret base are going to have special abilities that you can activate to okay. mitigate that randomness. Um, if you send your lackey out on the contract, they give you a free reroll. So there's a lot of things you can play with to optimize your success. Okay, show us some lackeys. Yeah. Here. Okay. And uh, how long does the game last? What, what do we get to? You, you're talking about working your way up to legendary contracts. Uh, what's the flow of the game? Absolutely. So it, it plays two to five players. I should have said that right away. Um, I think its sweet spot is three to four players, but we have a really nice two-player variant where you add in an automata deck of superheroes that mess with you over the course of the game. They kind of act like a de facto third player. Uh, a game is going to take you about 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. It is a light to medium weight strategy game. The, the round structures are there's going to be three rounds over the course of the game. 
the first round you have eight weeks to play with, then ten weeks, and then twelve weeks. And those weeks, that's another currency in the game. Each contract costs a certain amount of time to complete. You'll never have as much time as you want. Okay. In the last round, however, you have the most time, which you're going to need to go on those big legendary contracts. Okay. And that's, so that's where we're working against the clock. That's right. In the end, as we're trying to come up. That's that is right. You're trying to fulfill as many contracts as you can, get the most infamy you can over three rounds of play, which typically takes about 90 minutes or something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else to mention that we have no, covered I'm, so far? I love how it looks. I, I really hope it appeals to you. Gamers, non-gamers, comic book fans. I think it's got a wide appeal. It is a it is a beer and pretzels style game with a lot of laughs. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sam. Sandra, talk about Infamous.